Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday and I'm getting ready to go on a business trip for work. I generally do this two to three times a year, so I kind of have a system down on what to pack and how to get ready. And so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my organization method and what I pack in my minimalist bag. So if you want to see what I do and how I get ready, stay One of the first things that I do when I'm getting ready to go on a trip anywhere is I put together a to-do list in my Trello board. I love, love, love Trello. I use it for work. I use it for personal to-do lists. I also keep my um, vision board on here. So I'm a big fan of Trello. Uh, Jackson even uses it for his schoolwork. So if you guys ever want a little tour of my Trello and how I use it, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do a video sharing my organizational nerdiness with all of you. So this is my list for the trip and you can do a checklist. So I've got Quest bars because I want to have snacks in case I don't get to eat uh, or I can't find anything appropriate to eat. Vader is trolling my video. A dress shoes, socks, jeans, a casual shirt, some dress clothes, makeup, toothbrush. I need headphones, uh, my water bottle, undies, pajamas, hair dryer, meds, phone charger, hearing aid case. Uh, it is uh, unfortunately the timing of this event didn't happen like I had planned and so I'm going to need some uh, menstrual products there. Uh, so I gotta bring those. I need to charge my watch so that it'll take my steps and all of that. Business cards. I also need to go to the bank and the pharmacy and redo my nails with Color Street. So that is everything that I have on my to-do list today. I'm gonna try to knock out a bunch of them today um, in this video and then probably tomorrow before I head to the airport, I'll do the things like going to the bank and going to the pharmacy. So there you go, there is my Trello list. To go horizontal for you guys, so this would be a little bit wonky. But the next thing that I do is I put together a Fred Meyer click list. I love click list when I don't have time to run into the store or I just want to make sure that everything is staying within budget and then I'm getting everything that I need. Generally, I have a click list open most of the time. And as the kids go, oh, we need strawberries or we need this, I just add it to the click list. And then at the end of the week, I check out. So for this trip, uh, Raul will be staying home with the kids and Raul doesn't drive. So I need to make sure that they have everything that they need. Uh, we have plenty of groceries here at the house, but there are some things that I want to make sure that they are stocked up on. Especially because when I'm out of town, they tend to play a lot of video games and watch a lot of TV and eat a lot of PB&Js. So uh, I want to make sure that everybody's got everything they need and nobody has to stress about it. So here I have a click list of just a few things that I think that they'll need. I actually need some headphones for the trip, so I have that in there, some strawberries, some waffles, some almond milk, chips, cereal. Again, just stuff that I knew that they would need, paper plates so they don't have to do so many dishes. I'm just kind of making their lives a little bit easier. Uh, it's a really quick one, and then I just proceed to check out and I'll get everything set up and then I'll be able to pick it up tomorrow morning so that they will be stocked and ready to go. Be stocked and ready to go. Okay, so I just had my meeting, meetings, I don't know, lots of meetings, and I've got to do a little bit more work today and then I need to kind of clean up here a bit. I've got some laundry going because I need to have clean clothes to take on the trip, so I will probably be packing later this evening because I need clean clothes. Okay guys, I'm back. It's about one o'clock, I finished my work, and I gathered together everything to pack. And so I just 
wanted to show you guys what I do. So, first, I've got shoes and they're really dusty because I literally only wear them twice a year. And then these little ones here. So it just kind of depends on the outfit or what I'm feeling that day. I got these cool little bags on Amazon. They're like 10 bucks for two, I think. And they're kind of neat because they just keep your clothes clean. They originally, um, the kids were going to put cleats and they had to carry them to school, so I got them. But they're pretty much done. I also have my purse. You guys have seen the video. I'll link it down below. You've seen what's in my bag. Pretty much, I'm going to take this as is, except that I will have a pair of headphones in here and then my phone charger and probably my hearing aid case. But other than that, nothing is really changing. I don't like to have a bunch of junk when I'm traveling. I've got this. And again, this is just in case I have nothing else to eat, and it's a low carb, so we'll see. That's my makeup kit. This is actually probably less stuff than what you saw in my video. I have a couple sample sizes of like moisturizer and stuff, and so I have that instead of my regular size stuff. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. This is my suitcase. Kids last took me to a camping trip, so there's a flashlight. Probably don't need that for my trip. So I will, I'm going to put this stuff on the top. I've got some business cards for the event. Got these. I have another video on this, and I can do an updated one if you want to, but I do not generally use re uh, disposable menstrual products. I generally use um, reusable pads and I've also kind of started dabbling into the underwear things and stuff like that but I do have a bone to pick with them because they don't come in plus sizes. Not really. Yes they go up to like a 2x or whatever but they're not a true 2x and it's really frustrating. So let me know in the comments if anybody is fluffy and has had better luck with another brand because I am about over thinks and the fact that they don't have any true inclusive sizing um, for that. So there we go. Got a bra. I've got some undies. I'm not going to show you all the details of that. I've got some pajamas. And let's see, does the camera work all the way over here? A pair of jeans and a top. And then I've got some dressier clothes that I will fold up and I'll kind of show you as I fold them up. So there we go. Right, so now I only go on these trips, like I said, twice a year. I get to work from home the rest of the time, which is awesome. I really like working from home. It's a lot easier. You don't have to get up every morning and get dressed and do all that jazz. You don't have to fight traffic. I just really like working from home. And I feel like I get a lot more done during the day. Um, having to go into the office and deal with all of that. Also another trick. You roll up your clothes, they take up less room. So that's my shirt. Sorry guys. I can't say I didn't expect that to happen, but it still sucks when it happens. Um, yeah, so I like working from home. It's generally a lot less stressful to kind of pick, not only really pick my own hours, since I'm the marketing director, I still have to be there for meetings and stuff and at certain times. So I don't really get to choose my own hours, but look, so there were my 
Nyla. I'm going to put this in last because I do plan on putting on makeup tomorrow. So, there's that. Uh, but anyways. But this is kind of a, it's kind of nice a couple times a year to dress up, put on all my business attire, and talk to people and, you know, remember why I'm doing this. Right? So I have this. It's kind of like a waffle weed. Now the colors for the company, and I'm a branding nerd, so uh, a branding marketing nerd, so this is stuff matters to me, even if it doesn't for anyone else. Um, our blue, like this navy color, hence why I picked this particular shirt. And the book that we're launching is red. So I'm going to be wearing this outfit, even though it's like a little wrinkly. I might have to iron it the day out. I'll be wearing this to our book launch event so that I can, of course, it's amazing I have not broken this phone yet. How many times I've dropped it? All right, so I'll be wearing this to our book launch event. And I will probably put it in the bathroom the first night I get there to kind of steam out some of the wrinkles. Now a lot, I would say 50% of this stuff I got on ThreadUp. If you have not checked out ThreadUp, I will leave a link down below this and then it's got like a tie thing on the waist kind of. I haven't even worn it yet. Uh, but ThreadUp is like an online thrift store kind of. And I really like it for stuff like this. I also get a lot of LuLaRoe on the platform but I, I really enjoy ThriftUp. You get stuff for super cheap and sometimes they look brand new. So that's kind of cool. I got this one on thread up as well. And then the other half of my work clothes I got from Dian Co. Now, I don't love Dian Co. I'm going to be honest. They don't. I feel like their stuff is not really my vibe. These pants that are black. Actually, navy. Um, I don't do that much business stuff. I work from home, like I said, and so I am a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal. And they have not been trying a different rig setup, but now I have to get farther away. Okay, so what was I saying? I don't love Dian Co. Not really my vibe, but I'm trying. I'm really trying to work, and these are black. They're a little bit shorter. They go like right above the ankle. I think it's okay. I had a ton of work stuff before we moved. I don't know where it went. Oh, camera moved. Okay, we're cool. For this. I'm probably not going to wear anywhere, but if I get. If I go somewhere nice, I might have it. The thing that excited me about this dress, and this was the one like home run that Dia and Co. did. Can you see that? Betsy Johnson. Now, any kid of the 90s, anybody that was a teenage girl in the 90s can probably attest to this. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I aspired to wear Betsy Johnson and Doc Martens and be that cool girl. I was fluffy though, and she didn't make outfits that fit. So when I found out that they were doing a collection with DN Co., I jumped on it. Because I really, really was excited about it. And I love that dress. And then that, in case it's cold or I'm in a conference room or something. A little sweater. So yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna hold it now because it keeps falling. But anyways, 
This is my entire bag, all packed, ready to go. So all I have to do is jump in my Uber, which by the way, I have already scheduled two days ago because I'm that kind of planner, and throw my makeup bag in, and I am ready to go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me a little bit today and watching me pack and get ready for my business trip. If you like this kind of content, make sure to click that like button and subscribe so that I know that you're there and that you're watching and you'll get updates when I do new content. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You know, I just realized my arms hurt and I couldn't figure out why until I realized that I've been doing a ton of videos lately and holding the camera up like this. I need a tripod. <laughs>